I'm here with Quinn McNamara, the CEO of Creme Global, and he's also the founder of the Predict Conference. Um, Predict Conference is the leading data conference in Ireland, held in the RDS in Dublin every year. It's been running now for three years and is held in October every year. So Cronin, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, firstly, uh, can you tell us a bit about Creme Global? Sure. Well, Creme Global is uh, 12 years in operation now, Shira. Um, we're a data science technology company, so we create and deploy data science models for our clients and partners on the cloud or on the web. And these have been, we've done a lot of work in the food, chemicals and health analytics space, but we've also developed now a platform for plugging and playing and creating modular data science applications. So we're broadening out into new, new sectors all of the time. Okay. And so um, from that, you came up with the idea of the Predict Conference. So how did that come about? Sure. Well, we were 10 years in operation uh, two years ago, and we thought about, you know, well, we've been doing a lot of work internationally, and 90 plus percent of our business was outside of Ireland. And we figured it was time to kind of bring some of our work together. Um, we wanted to create create an event that could showcase some great examples of data science in action across multiple sectors. We wanted to actually demystify data science for the business community and to create a kind of showcase event for the, the data science community here in Ireland. So with all of that going on, we figured, you know, Predict was the way to go. So we, three years ago, or sorry, two years ago, we ran our first Predict. So this is our third Predict this year and it's gone from strength to strength since then. Okay, so it's gone, so it's very successful, the conference, so last year, but what this year is making it a bit different and hopefully mm -hmm. going to top that? Yeah, excellent. So we took a lot of feedback on board as we do every year and mm -hmm. a couple of things, you know, we've made this a one day event to make it much more interactive, I have everybody in the room in one day, we've got multiple streams, got the exhibition area, the experience zone as we call it. The huddles were hugely successful last year. So the huddles are where people get to sit with some of our key speakers. They get to know them. They get to talk in a more informal environment at the coffee breaks. They get to know the other attendees. So the huddles are hugely successful. So we're bringing those back. And this year, we do have a focus on artificial intelligence uh, because it's just coming of age now. Uh, we felt this is the time that we need to talk about artificial intelligence, the opportunities, the risks, and to demystify that for the business community and to kind of get real specialist talks from the technical experts for the data science community to, to engage with. So, you, and also, you can't have a data conference without mentioning privacy and GDPR, so we will touch on GDPR. The main focus is, I suppose, artificial intelligence, data science, and the opportunities of using data to make better decisions. Which will be really successful this year, hopefully. So, <laughs> Even better. Perfect. Even better, yeah. Cool. And when you talk about the streams and your artificial intelligence, um, obviously you have some fantastic speakers that come every year. Mm -hmm. um, I know for from the past you had like somebody from like John Elder. Mm -hmm. uh, but what actual speakers will you have this year and who are you really looking forward to seeing? Okay, well, I always look forward to seeing John Elder. Um, John Elder is sort of the god or the grandfather, grandfather of data <laughs> mining in the US. He founded Elder Research uh, a number of years ago, and it's one of the leading data mining organizations in the US. He's written leading books, um, award-winning books on data science, and his talks are always excellent. Mm -hmm. And he comes up with a new topic each year, and his topic for this year is really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. So John Elder is always one to, that I look forward to, to meeting and to listening to and talking to at Predict. Uh, we also have BMW, the future of mobility, which is going to be incredible. Um, they're going to bring along some of their, their newest technology, the brand new i3 car, which I believe is the first time it's going to be showcased in Europe. And we also have some wow. local heroes uh, like Patricia Downen from Soapbox Labs and some other startups um, and innovative companies. So doing some very interesting things with data and artificial intelligence. So there's so much, it's hard to mention it all, but I'm looking forward to the whole A thing. very diverse range of speakers, yeah, exactly. <laughs> which is nice yeah. to see. Yeah. So as you were saying about all the different topics, um, what, what is the hot topic and how do, you, how do you decide what is the hot topic? Well, I think it was a, a, a kind of a no-brainer this year with artificial intelligence, you know, coming on stream, you know, Amazon Echo, right through to self-driving cars, Elon Musk talking about the, the singularity and the risks of artificial intelligence, but also the opportunities. So, you know, 
artificial intelligence, as I said, it has been around a long time in terms of the maths and the methodologies of artificial uh, of the machine learning algorithms. But it's only now with the massive data streams that are coming becoming available to companies and organisations that they're able to apply this artificial intelligence and have massive impact and very interesting results. So we chose that this year as a theme for for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and we're running a couple of sessions dedicated to that. One more technical, uh, run by the CDARA group. Uh, Edward MacDonald and his team will go into you know the nuts and bolts and the technology of how to do this type of um, machine learning, uh, how to create these algorithms, how to deploy them. And we're going to have a more broader um, case studies of artificial intelligence on the main stage. And that, that, that theme will go throughout the whole conference, um, as well as all of our other sessions. So. Perfect. So other than this, the, the talks that you're having, as you were saying about the two different streams, what else um, elements and aspects of the conference can people experience? Okay, so uh, the great talks are, are the primary thing about PREDICT, and I always think that the quality of the speakers and the, the, the information they're you know, imparting on the audience is, is always incredible. But it's also a really fun event, um, very interactive, Experience area is great. Great exhibitors get to try out uh, new technologies. Get to talk to the to the people in various groups. And um, the huddles, as I mentioned, very interactive, very informal. There's coffee breaks, drinks receptions the night before and the night of. We're going to get some amazing speakers to come along um, uh, to kind of entertain and to educate people. Um, and the, the attendees go right from C level executives, business owners. Right down to or right throughout the whole community, including data science practitioners, programmers, database managers, big data architects, students. We've huge in input from students this year from various MSCs around Ireland and UK and further into Europe. Mm -hmm. There's people coming from all of these areas. Recruiters are always there. It's a hot topic. Um, Recruitment is always a key issue for all of our partners and exhibitors. So a very wide and diverse audience will be there. So it's a really fun event. Really great you know, day to absorb all this information and you don't have to worry too much about taking notes because we have an e-book that we write. Okay. Uh, Ian Campbell is a well-renowned technology journalist and he's writing our e-book again for the third year in a row. All attendees get that e-book. They also get all of the content in PDF format and recorded and they get access to their Predict Passport which has all of that for the last three years. So wow. you get a huge amount of content. So everything you just mentioned there, is that an all-inclusive then? Yeah. It's an all-inclusive conference that literally once you pay for your ticket, that's yeah. all you, that you get everything that you, yeah. that you just called exactly. off there. Exactly. Come along, enjoy the day, focus on networking, focus on absorbing as much information as you can. When you get back to the office, access to Predict Passport, access all of the previous talks from the last three years, all of the videos, PDFs, and the e-books. So it's a very comprehensive thing. Yeah, very a lot, of, a lot of information, so you couldn't take it in all in one day. That's why we present all of this information in the Predict Passport, so you can yes. share it with your colleagues, go back, reread it, you know, absorb the, the lessons. Okay, so from everything you've just said there, with the huddles, the speakers, the networking, and all that, if, if someone was to come up to you on the street and say, why should I go to the Predict Conference? Okay. What would you say? Well, I like to say that every company has to become a data science company in order to compete in the modern world. And this is a unique event bringing together business, technology, data science, leading speakers internationally. You get one chance a year to see these people in Ireland. So I would say this is your day. Come to Predict on the 3rd of October in the RDS because this is a very unique event and it's once, in, once a year opportunity to, to kind of engage with this type of event in Ireland. And is there a website that somebody can visit sure. um, to have a look at all this information? Yeah, everything's on uh, predictconference.com where you can click on uh, book tickets or see the schedule, uh, see the speakers and, and see, what's all, see what it's all about. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for taking my questions today. And thank it was you, very Sarah. informative. That's thank great, you. Thanks.